what are we up to? Any other news? Colby Covington's talking shit. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's a good amount of news. Connor McGregor actually was uh, TMZ ran into Connor and they I asked did. him what they want, you know, what he thinks is going to be his next fight. And Connor said, uh, I think a true fight is what I want to do next, a real fight. And they were like, what about going to pro wrestling? Because there's been some rumors. And he said, fuck the WWE. No, he didn't. He said, fuck WWE. Yeah, fuck them. The but again, about, fight, just fight already. What, no what matter, are you waiting for? Yeah, yeah. No matter, the thing is, the, the, the motivation is, is what's... You mean for is, money? The, the yeah, fact, I mean, yeah. I, I'm going to say, like, where would his motivation be? He is, I do believe he's a fighter where he does enjoy fighting. But when you're that young and you have that much money... What's good is he's almost going to be 30, so hopefully he won't be doing some stupid shit like he's done recently. I mean, it's hard. In your 20s, to have that much money. Who knows? It's I don't know what that's like. Is that much? I mean, it's crazy. I say there's going to be a Floyd rematch. That's my take on it. I've said that from the beginning. I'm I said so, from I'm, the beginning it's going to be a Floyd, Floyd rematch. Now Floyd is coming out saying that he carried him. You know that? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But it's like... I don't, I'm so uninterested in it. I have asked that. I just like the, the I just like the mixed martial arts. I don't even give a shit about the boxing. That was fun for what it was, but come on, now Pacquiao. And My this prediction one, is this: that they will have a rematch, and and Connor will get knocked out within two rounds. And that's not a knock on Connor. It's not saying Connor's not a great fighter, but in in I, I think Floyd will unload in this next one to make a point, and I think it'll go two rounds, three at the most. Yeah, that's my that's my prediction. Well. That could, I mean, possibly, right? But in a, in a rematch, Connor's going to probably know that, that Floyd's going to come at him. That could be the wrong move for Floyd. Like, Floyd That's, probably did it right, kind of. Floyd is fighting guys had water. two I professional think, boxing yeah. matches. No. Tony Ferguson, stylistically, is the best bet. I don't think he should fight Khabib. No, <laughs> Again, I, I don't think, think so. Yeah. Connor? I yeah, think, no, I he should not fight Khabib. will rip his arm off. What do you think, uh, Khabib B Barboza? Like, I love Edson Barboza, oh. so I want him to win that fight. But I mean, it, it, Khabib. If Khabib takes him down, I mean, that, that's a that's a it's, tough it's, day for, it's, it's for a, Edson. It's a rough one, man. Because again, Edson trains with my buddy Cardo Almeida and Mark um, Mark Henry and those guys. So I, I'm kind of biased. Sure. I'm close with them, even though they just cornered against me last week. <laughs> this is a game we play. But I do love those guys. So it's kind of I'm kind of biased. But I Khabib's one of my favorite guys to watch. Oh, you know, so much fun. Is he I don't know if you heard. About my love of Kimuras, because I might have mentioned that. You before. haven't mentioned it. By the way, who, who threw a Kimura and almost got it but didn't get it? Uh, oh, wait it a was second. Fucking it was fucking rough. Oh, it was RDA. No. No, no, it wasn't RDA. Don't tell me. Till the end, it was till the end of the round. Who had his back? Shit. It's on my, who did that? Don't tell me. Who the fuck had the Kimura? It's oh, I know. Got it. Who? You have to guess. <laughs> Hold on. Let me look at I know who got it. Don't this say past it. Weekend, you're Don't say it. Don't say it. I already let know. Let me look. Let me oh, look my God. That was... All right, listen, let's go to break. Oh, sorry, there's no break. The it's Kimura. a podcast. Who did it? Who did the Kimura? Let me see. Wait, where's my uh, list of fights? Oh, I know. It was... Oh, shit. No. Nope. It... it Was Was it Jordan Mean? No. Was Eric Silva? No. Oh, was it Eric Silva? No. Oh, <laughs> Jordan Mean versus Eric Silva was a pretty good fight, though. I don't remember. Jordan Mean, was... Jordan Mean looked good. Jordan Mean, he was on the he was on the, uh, the fight pass prelims. That was the only fight on there. And Jordan Mean versus Eric Silva, where both guys had glimpses in the past I'll be in like the next big thing, you know what I mean? Because yep. they're both really talented. Jimmy, could you? Are you listening to me? Man always thinks I'm not listening to <laughs> I him. I know. Man, I'm always listening. <laughs> okay, what I, I'm, what I, you know, I don't want to be, I don't I'm, be I'm, that guy, but what I just said. I'm you. You were just talking about these guys. Uh, okay, trying to figure I, out who it is. I'm I'm, I'm, here's what I'm doing. I'm looking at my list. I'm holding my paper. Right. Looking at my You're list. You're being professional. Trying and I'm to just figure being, out who. I'm, know what I'm being, Jimmy? Did the uh, the, the, the Jimmy, Kimura. Kimura. Jimmy. To answer your question, Jimmy. Yes. I'm being a needy a needy friend and co-host. Yeah, but I'm with you because I miss you. But I, but even if I don't look, I listen to everything you say. I can do two things at once. I'm trying to figure this out. So right away, I'm going to get combative. So I can? I love you, Jimmy. <laughs> sure. Listen, Jordan Mean versus Eric Silva. That's what I was talking was about. That, is that the fight with the Kimura where he ripped it off and he put him on the ground and he just couldn't secure it? And they said that he looks like he's very relaxed right now. Whoever was on the ground was relaxed and not struggling it's because bothered. he, he had it too bothered. high up on the arm. I, I honestly And don't he was remember. trying to work his way back down the arm and he just couldn't do it in time because time ran out in the mat. I don't know why I'm not remember. I remember the exact thing. I don't know why I can't Was remember. it Marquez Stewart? Was, yeah, it, well, was it Darren Marquez, Stewart uh, against Julian Marquez? I Julian Marquez, he did end up finishing. Yeah, in the second. Yeah. But was that the this fucking... I don't remember. It's going to bother the shit out of me now. Because I, I remember watching it. Who the hell was it? I, why can't I place this? What's the matter with me, Jimmy? I don't know. I can't either, dude. My, there's so many fights and so many names. And I watched every one, I think, except for the uh, Fight Pass prelims. I watched every fight and I just cannot remember. My mind is going. I usually write, make notes during the fights just so it jogs my memory so this doesn't happen. 
<laughs> but you watch so many, and like my yeah, memory is just—I'm getting older, man. <laughs> is that what? Happens? Oh, dude, it's fucking crazy. Yeah. I think the cell phone by my head too. I'm gonna start sleeping with it away from my head. Yeah. I want to keep the phone away from me. Yeah, man, because it fucks you up. The biorhythms and everything. R really? Yeah, it absolutely man. does. Jimmy, what's a biorhythm? A biorhythm. It's a rhythm that likes both sexes. No, a biorhythm. <laughs> it's just like your fucking the way you're. The, you know the the the. Uh, the like electronics in your head, I guess. That's what I'm thinking it is, you know. Oh. I'm not surprised Ponzinibbio won, because those leg kicks that you know those those leg kicks were hurting Perry very early. Yep. That was he's so fast Ponzinibbio, and he's really really fucking hard to deal with. But you know, you watch that and you're like they are both extremely tough guys. The fact that Perry took what he, what he was. Uh, the beating he was getting from Ponzinibbio, and he just he just couldn't do anything on the ground. I mean, right. Ponzinibbio is a jiu-jitsu black belt. What's Perry a blue belt? Yeah, he's purple still, belt. I purple believe. belt. Still a very very talented fighter, but I mean, on the ground with Ponzinibbio, he's gonna have a very hard time. He couldn't get him off the cage, you know. Yeah, and it seemed like he was at one point running in to throw punches. Like yeah. I think he was having a bit of a hard time uh, getting in on Ponzinibbio, but that was an incredible fight. The fact uh, that they were both still standing at the end of that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. and uh, something to be said <clears throat> for Mike Perry. And one of the reasons I enjoy watching him fight is he lost two fights now, and he and he lost them going forward. Both decision, yep. And he lost them going forward. So in other words, he's an he's a courageous fighter. He's an exciting fighter. He was in that fight. He had moments in that fight where I thought he hurt Ponzinibbio. Oh, he absolutely hurt him. And I was waiting for the follow up. And to not to Ponzinibbio's credit, you know, he, he uh, regrouped a bunch and uh, and he showed uh, the experience. <clears throat> Excuse me, and and that's what that's what saved him. And he was very smart. He wasn't. I thought he was going to be more, a little more more reckless, looking to put Mike Perry away. And he was. So I, I said if he took a page out of Alan Joe Band's book, not that he did totally like that, but he was on the bike a little bit in that first round. Yeah, using that lateral footwork where you're expecting him to collide. You right. know. And Mike Perry was being patient, trying to track him down. He was trying to stalk him down. He he looked like he was on him, like like a wolf. You know, I, I loved it, but uh, I believe the experience made a big difference. Do you think the experience? Because I I think you're right, Matt. Like the the kicking those legs, and it's only like what, he was hurting him. Didn't Perry switch stances at one point? And he went to southpaw a little bit, and then he got lit up, and then he would try to switch back. But he was getting that leg kick so badly, and he didn't seem able to check that. And he kind of had no defense for that leg kick. That's true. And, uh, you know, I mean, listen, sometimes it is so funny with that, but that, but it, 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 it's funny because I'm thinking of the Eddie Alvarez fight now where I'm like, how is he going to get through this? And then that knee came out of nowhere. I feel oh, the same yeah. thing with Mike Perry where even though you knew he was having trouble, I feel to the very, very end because of his power, he was still in the fight. Always. He was always in the fight. He even got up at the end. And it just looked, he knew the second that bell rang where he's like, all right, I, I, I know I didn't do enough. Yeah. He knew it. Well, was it, it seemed, I, th I thought it was uh, two rounds to one. Was that correct? Was it was 29, 28? 29, 20, 20, 28. Yeah, yeah, I had Mike win, uh, Perry winning the first round. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I, that's, I remember thinking it came down to the third round and then knowing like halfway through, I'm like, all right. Ponzinibbio was just great. Yeah, that, that was so such a good fight. Yeah. Ponzinibbio tired him out though a little bit, he did. I think too. A lot of the Tucker him out. Let's use official UFC lingo. You're right. Yeah. He tuckered him out. What's nice about it is, uh, did you say Tucker? He tuckered him out a bit. What's nice about that is, um, you know, I believe that Mike Perry's going to, you know, rebound from that. Oh, sure. You know? Both losses. Neither loss was an embarrassment. I mean, that they were both messes at the end of that fight, just two bloody messes, and he just lost a bloody decision. That's all it was. I mean, right. and he lost to a fucking really good fighter. And, he, and, and you know, again, neither one of those guys was in such trouble that you were like, oh, this is the end of the fight. Yeah. Every time one of them got in a little trouble, they just, they figured it out and put the other one in trouble. It was such a such a back and forth. But Ponzinibbio absolutely won it. How old is Mike Perry? I, I want to say twenty five. Yeah, I, th I think you're absolutely oh, right. Too. Ponzinibbio is like thirty or thirty one. And let's see. And he's got twenty. He's twenty seven and three. Ponzinibbio's, I think Ponzinibbio. I think Ponzinibbio is thirty two. But I'm yeah, he's thirty one. Now Ponzinibbio is he twenty seven and three? Uh, yes. And, and, and Perry's now 11 and two, which means, I mean, the, the experience, that's where that experience comes in. Like he just knew to tie him up at the end to put him down and you could see Perry getting a little frustrated on the ground. Plus he was tired. That's a hard, and in the middle of the third round, who the fuck wants to be on the ground trying to get up with a black right. belt on top of you? Perry's uh, 26 and Ponzinibbio is 26 and three, not 27 and three, but. Oh, he is now. Okay. Yeah. All right. No need to well, humiliate me. No, sorry. Um, <laughs> Well, anyway, by the way, so we all had Mike Perry by first round knockout. Yeah, it's so understandable. We, we got nothing on that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to finish up soon. What else do we got, guys? Anything else? I'm going to go to the bathroom, hey, so. Uh, all right. We can right. finish up whenever you like. We can <laughs> I have to tinkle. Hey, listen, any other games? Uh, well, I don't have any <laughs> games today, but I do have some announce a couple we, more fights. 
Well, I was actually going to point out Tony Ferguson and Eddie Alvarez got into a little uh, yeah. like Twitter back and forth. Yeah. Because uh, Eddie Alvarez has been claiming the UFC's most violent title since his fight against Justin okay. Gaethje, which probably richly deserved. I mean, great, great fight between the two of them. Fun. Uh, Tony Ferguson lashed out at uh, Eddie, though, and said, My belt can hold more weight than yours ever could, Eddie Alvarez. Ten straight and all bloodbaths. I'd make up titles, too, if I was sour from being KO'd by a featherweight in a title fight. <laughs> Dana, you hired a bunch of bitches. I beat them all. Hashtag Defender Vacate. Motherfucker, you know. Eddie Alvarez responded, I would rip your skinny body apart if I cared to fight you, but I don't care to fight you, so Merry Christmas. Quotes, champ. He's, he's <laughs> doing the old... Uh... Well, almost like if, nah, if you want to date a girl, you're like, no, nah, I don't want to date you. And then the girl's like, well, why don't you want to date me? Yeah. So he's all, he's kind of hoping that Tony goes, wait, wait, you mean you don't want to fight me? All right, I'll fight you. That's not going to happen. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right, Jimmy? Yeah, why would he? All right. He's right. He's, he's right about Con vacate. He's right. I yeah, agree he's got to fight. Connor's going to come back, though. He's got to fight Tony. I know. And he's going to fight. Um, I think he wants a piece of the UFC. I don't know if they want to give him a piece because he's so valuable, but the reality is how many you never know how many fights a guy has. So it's not like you know you can get 15 more fights out of him. How many more paydays are you going to get? You're giving away a piece of a $4 billion company. Right. It's a very tough decision probably for them. Wow. Also, Jacare is fighting Derek Brunson, number four against number eight. That's fight night, January the 27th from Charlotte, North Carolina. I want to guess that's where Brunson's from. Am I correct? He's from the South. He is from the South. I think you might be right. Shevchenko is fighting uh, Priscilla. How do you say her last name? Cachoeira? Yeah, Cachoeira. I okay, believe. good. Uh, that's a, another a great fight. The number one, number two uh, flyweights are fighting. That's also... Uh, it's Feb oh, from February 3rd from uh, Belém, Brazil? Yeah, Bel yeah, that's um, where Machida's from, and he's headlining that event against uh, Eric, Eric Anders. Anders uh, by, by the way, Valentina's not... She's the number one women's bantamweight. This is her flyweight debut. Oh, sorry. Yes, yeah, you're yeah. correct. You are correct. Um, and then Paige Van Zandt, of course, is fighting Jesse Rose Clark, Jessica Rose Clark at, uh, from St. Louis, Missouri. Wow, another fight night. They have so many different fight nights they're doing. It's really great. Yeah. It's so great because the pay-per-views are like the bigger fights. Sometimes these fight nights on Fox or whatever are just as good, if not better, because uh, they're putting fights that they know are going to be exciting because they want the networks to get you to buy the pay-per-views. Yes. So anyone that doesn't watch these fight